One of the most common questions that we get from real estate agents in our community is how to submit an offer on a Fannie Mae property. The official Fannie Mae website for offer submissions is homepath.com. At Westcott Properties, we think it's very important that you get to know the homepath.com website, so let's take a look. Once you're at the Homepath home screen, hover over the green login button. If you're not already registered with Homepath, click Not Registered. You'll then be taken to the registration page where you will be asked to enter your basic information. You'll then receive instructions via email to set up your password. Once you have your login information, you're ready to begin. Once logged in, search for the property that you're placing an offer on. I find that one of the most effective ways to find the property you're searching for is by utilizing the map search option. Click on the appropriate state and county to search for the desired property. Once you've selected the appropriate county, I find that one of the easiest ways is to sort by address. Click address and the properties will be put in numerical order. Once you've selected the desired property, you'll be taken to that property's information page. You can then click the blue Make an Offer button to begin the offer process. Next, you'll be taken to the online offer form, where, where you'll fill out all required information regarding your buyer and their offer terms. Anything that's marked with a red star is required and must be filled in. Here you'll enter the buyer's name and an address is required. One of the questions that must be answered is whether the buyer has purchased a Fannie Mae property before. Select yes or no. Next, enter the purchase price amount. Here you should enter if the buyer is requesting a closing cost credit from the seller. Another important part of the offer form is the finance type. Click select and all the finance types will display below. Select the appropriate one. You'll also need to select whether your buyer is an investor or owner occupant. The next question asks whether your buyer is using public funds. If you have any questions on this, simply hover over public funds. You'll also have to indicate whether your buyer has been pre-qualified. You'll also have to answer whether the buyer owns or rents their own residence. Next, enter the earnest funds amount, followed by the closing date. In this box, enter any contingencies. You can also enter any comments associated with the offer. Once everything has been entered, click Continue. You'll now have a chance to review all the terms to check for their accuracy. Once you've confirmed that everything's correct, click Continue. You'll then be asked to review some terms and conditions set forth by HomePath. Acknowledge your understanding and acceptance of these terms, then click Continue.
You'll now be asked to upload the required offer documentation, which includes the signed offer in the form of purchase and sale agreement and the buyer signed real estate purchase addendum. If your buyer is an owner occupant, you will also need to upload a signed copy of the owner occupancy certification form. These forms can be found on homepath.com. You'll have the opportunity to upload the individual documents or to upload them as one file. Browse for the offer document and upload. You'll then have to verify that you're uploading all the required documentation. Once your document's been uploaded, click Confirm and Submit. You've now completed the process and your offer has been successfully submitted.